Hey folks, how's it going? Thanks for checking out the video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the new visual calculations feature in Power BI. Now, if you are new around here, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're all set, let's jump in. So firstly, what are visual calculations? Well, they are a brand new feature in Power BI Desktop. They were released as part of the February release. Now, uh, Jay from the Power BI product team, it's been a bit of a roadshow with these. He's been uh, on the conference scene, doing uh, live streams and uh, lots and lots of public appearances, basically talking about this new feature. Been an awful lot of uh, excitement about it. And some of the language around it, I guess, is sort of almost uh, quite superlative in terms of, you know, how this is gonna be life-changing as a brand new feature inside of, of Power BI. What exactly does it mean? What, what are visual calculations, right? So a visual calculation is being able to do a calculation on your visual. So uh, Power BI and the guys at Microsoft have finally gotten uh, one of their naming conventions uh, just bang on, because that's exactly what it does. Um, the idea being is that you'll be able to create DAX calculations specifically at a visual level. So for specific visuals. Um, the advantage of that is effectively you are making that calculation in the context of whatever data is already in the visual. So if you can think about an entire semantic model and all the various um, tables and calculations that might be in that model, you can forget about those. You're only worried about the ones that are in whichever visual you happen to be working with. And that includes any filters that you might have it. So uh, it automatically basically reduces the kind of filter context or the, the, the context of the data that's going to be in there. Probably the easiest way to explain them is to jump in and show you them. So I have myself here a Power BI report. Uh, pretty basic. We are showing sales revenue by month. Um, you have to bear in mind at this point in time that the new visual calculations fil uh, feature is a preview feature. So you've got to go into your options and settings to uh, make sure that's enabled. I've already done that. So what you'll see here, if I select this particular visual, I get a new button up here, which is the new calculation button. So that's how you create a visual calculation. If I click on that, it is going to launch this window down in the bottom corner. Okay, so on this window down here, we have got uh, the data that is inside of uh, my visual. Uh, and then it's uh, displayed in a tabular format with this uh, new calculation and uh, column here. And the idea being that you can um, create your DAX calculation here, and that is going to just be um, executed on the data that's in the data set, that's in the visual, that's in the selected set of data here. Now, there's a really handy uh, FX button here that can give you some uh, templates to make things easier. So you get a good idea here of some of those um, some of those calculations that you might want to do. And I'm going to select the uh, running sum. So I'm going to get a uh, running sum here of my um, of my measure. So if I complete this, hit the commit button, and you'll see the running sum uh, appear in the little tabular format here. If I zoom out of that, you'll see I've got a new uh, running sum bar um, appear on my, my graph as well. Uh, what's quite nice is on top of that running sum, um, if you don't want to sort of display those two things alongside each other, I guess in the context of this particular visual, um, showing that running sum at the same time uh, doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't really give you the context. So what you can actually do is you can uh, hide the original, um, the original calculation that's coming from my, my model. Um, and just show the one that you've calculated using your visual calculation. Now, just to point out, this particular report is a thin report pointing at an existing semantic model. So this isn't about uh, adding new calculations to a semantic model. It is just literally done at a report level and even beyond that at a uh, individual uh, visual level as well. So ultimately, that is how visual calculations work, right? It feels to me like it is almost like a bit of a cheat code for writing DAX. But cheating is bad, right? And this is where I come to the point that I really want to make in terms of whether or not this idea of visual calculations is a good idea, right? So I have got two main sort of 
objections, complaints about this idea of visual calculations. So number one is to do with dry principles. Now, if you're not familiar with dry, it uh, stands for don't repeat yourself. Now, if you're not familiar with the dry, it stands for don't repeat yourself. And it's a software engineering principle whereby the idea is that you kind of only write your code once and reuse it many, many times, as opposed to having to rewrite it every, every single time. Visual calculations to me feels like the antithesis of that. It is the exact opposite. Um, you have to write that visual calculation at a visual level. Imagine if you want to have the same visual in a different report, you're gonna to have to write it again. Imagine you want the same calculation just in the same report but on a different visual you'll have to write it again in that context as well. So I guess we talk as practitioners about this best practice of having uh, golden data sets and thin reports. And the idea behind that was always to have a data set where you write once, you have that kind of BI nirvana of a single source of truth that gets reused many times across multiple reports. Visual calculations moves away from that entirely. It becomes a very much, uh, not just report level, individual visual level. Um, and to an extent that doesn't make sense to me. Now, my other objection, and I guess this kind of alludes to the fact that this is a DAX cheat code, I think that kind of steals the opportunity for you to get better at DAX. You know, I when I wanted to um, write running sums in the past on uh, visuals or semantic models that I've made in the past, you've got to get into the realms of understanding how DAX works. You've got to go through that, that pain, but also that learning in terms of, you know, figuring out how... Uh, filter contexts and calculate and filter modifiers all works to be able to, to create that. Yes, the piece of DAX to write a running sum is going to be you know several lines long and, and much bigger than uh, potentially what you're seeing here in terms of a very, very simple function with one measure filled into it. But ultimately, that just allows you to understand DAX better because it makes you a better developer, right? So in my eyes, there are definitely some arguments that say that visual calculations are really a bad idea. So am I dismissing visual calculations altogether? Am I completely rubbishing them saying it's a waste of time and you should not use them? Let's admit it. The title of this video is a little bit sensationalist, possibly a little bit provocative, maybe a bit clickbaity. Overall, I think I should congratulate the Power BI product team for sticking this feature into Power BI. Things that can help reduce the barrier of entry for people starting to use Power BI can only ever really be a good thing. I struggle sometimes, and this is a me problem, not a Power BI problem, because my head is wired to enterprise analytics. I have this sort of big picture um, kind of approach to things, you know, this idea of a single source of truth, enterprise semantic models, well-defined and well-governed uh, data sets and data products. That's exactly my jam. That's exactly the stuff that I get a buzz out of. But for self-service users, this just helps them get to the results they need quicker. That means there's going to be no um, barriers. There's going to be no bottlenecks in terms of waiting for a central team to add a new calculation into a particular model. I think Microsoft have got a um, kind of off-mentioned mantra about um, discipline at the core and flexibility at the edges. And my head is pretty much always in that discipline at the core space. This is very much a flexibility at the edges type of feature. So are they a terrible idea? They are an idea and a feature that could possibly be abused. So they come with a bit of a health one and, you know, a bit come with a bit of a pinch of salt in terms of making sure that, um, you know, they get used in the right situations and for the right purposes and, and with the right intentions. But ultimately, are they a bad thing? No, I don't think so. Anything that can get people up and running with their analytics, get the right results in front of the right people in terms of driving decision making, can only be a good thing. So there you have it. My opinion on visual calculations. Hopefully you found that interesting. If you've got any opinions on it as well, if you want to share your thoughts, don't forget to leave some comments in the comments section below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do give it a like. And if you want to follow along for more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks once again for watching, and I'll see you next time.